Hey, what's happening? I'm Claudio, and today I'm going to be showing you my method for printing a SketchUp file to scale. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do this, but in my research, I didn't really find a good solution. If you're a PC user, there are programs out there like Matthias Wendell's Big Print program, which are awesome, but I use a Mac, so I had to find a different way. My method uses two programs, SketchUp, obviously, and either Illustrator or InDesign. If you want to see how I did it, stick around. Let's make it now. I'm going to be demonstrating my process with this guitar footstool that I made recently. The model isn't super complicated, and I could have just measured these parts out and cut them without a template, but a template does make it easier. The piece we're going to be making a template for is one of these legs. Again, not an overly complex part, but you can use the same process for when your part is complex. And then over here you'll see the two legs. I have their dimensions laid out so we know exactly how long they are, and that will be important in a later step. The next thing to do is change the camera view to parallel projection. So I'm going to go up to camera and hit parallel projection. Once that's done, change the model style to wireframe. So over here I have styles and if this isn't open, you can click window and styles. So in the styles menu, I can click wireframe. This style comes with the SketchUp program by default. This step really isn't necessary, but it will waste the least amount of ink or toner on your printer. So now let's zoom into the piece that we're going to print. We have the simple wireframe and the exact dimensions. Our next step is to take a screenshot of the model. This has resulted far easier than trying to export a 2D model. I'm not exactly sure how to do this on a PC, but on a Mac, just hold down the Command and Shift key and then press the number 4. Your cursor will change into a small crosshair. Now just click and drag over your model. As soon as you let go, a new screenshot will be saved to your desktop. Before you close SketchUp, make note of the overall length and height of your model. In this case, 13 and 7 eighths of an inch long and an inch and a quarter tall. So now let's move to Adobe InDesign. Open the program and create a new document. You can click New here or say File New Document. This document setup window will appear. The only thing we need to change is the document size. So since my model is 13 and 7 eighths inch long and an inch and a quarter tall, I'll make my model 16 inches wide and 3 inches high. And then click OK. Now if your rulers aren't visible, just click View and here it would say Show Rulers. So just make sure they're turned on. Also, make sure that your rulers are showing inches and not another unit of measurement. The easiest way to change that is just to right click and click on inches. And if you want to do that on the top, you can do that as well. Now just click the ruler and drag a line out onto the artboard. Doesn't matter where. Up here on the X value, just change this to one inch. Now that line goes exactly to one inch and our piece was 13 and 7 eighths of an inch long so we're gonna add that one inch we're gonna drag one more out here and now I'm gonna type in 14 uh, you can't type in 7 eighths but 7 7 eighths of an inch is 0.875 inches so I'm gonna type in 14.875 so now the distance between this first line that we drew and the second line is exactly 13 and 7 eighths. Now all we have to do is import our screenshot from earlier so you can click and drag it on here or you can hit file, place, and then find the file. Easiest way is just to click and drag and then here's our screenshot. So all we have to do is make sure that our model fits right between these two lines. So if you hit Command Shift on a Mac, I think it's Control Shift on a PC, it will scale this proportionally. So just keep doing that until our model, so I can scooch the model over until it's on that line and we're really close here on this side. 
So I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Now we're touching here on this side and we're touching here on this side. So now I know that this will print exactly 13 and 7 eighths of an inch long. And because we scaled it proportionally, it's also exactly an inch and a quarter tall. Now, all you have to do to print this out, file print or command P for print. If your model is smaller than a normal sheet of paper, all you have to do is click print. If it's larger than a normal sheet of paper, an eight and a half, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper like this one is, um, just click setup and tile and then it will print overlapping. You can change the overlap here. I usually do inch and a half or two inches. Click print and there you go. One SketchUp printed to scale. These cut marks make it really easy to line up the pages. A trick I learned is to use a white background on a computer monitor. You can clearly see the marks on both pages. Just tape them together and you're done. I pulled out a ruler to show how this comes out exactly to scale. It's right on 0 on the left side and dead on 13 and 7 eighths on the right. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Again, I looked around for a bunch of different programs and different methods for doing it and I really just couldn't figure out a way to print exactly to scale. Sometimes they're close, but not exactly. And this method works for really any design software. All you need to do is take a screen print of it. If you know of a better way to do this, let me know. I'd love to see it. This way is simple, but I'm sure there's something easier out there. There might be a way to do this with Microsoft Word or Excel, but I haven't really tried that. I have InDesign, I know how to use it, so that's what I went with. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and let me know about it in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on social media at Make It Now channel and you can find a bunch of my other projects on my website at makeitnow.tv. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.